Hey, I'm Bruno. I'm a close collaborator with John Carlo Monti and a filmmaker here in New Orleans. Hi, I'm Jason Foster. I'm a filmmaker and um, friend and collaborator with JC. And I'm Pavel Hannon, also a New Orleans based filmmaker who um, was a friend and worked a lot with John Carlo Monti on various projects. And um, we're here to introduce this new award in his honor. And in 2019, John Carlo Monti's passing coincided with the New Orleans Film Festival and his loss was deeply felt by our filmmaking community in real time. Not only was the sudden passing a tragic shock, but it recast the film festival in this community in a new light. As much as we are here to celebrate new films, filmmakers, and meet others, the film festival has become an annual celebration and reaffirmation of the community that makes this festival and film scene so vibrant and wonderful. It's this sense of community and the friends like JC that we make along the way that give this whole filmmaking thing a sense of lasting meaning and importance beyond the current project pitch or deadline. To honor John Carlo's legacy, the New Orleans Film Festival would like to announce the John Carlo Monti Memorial Award, a first time award for crew members in the New Orleans film community in 2021, 2022, and 2023. With those crew members in mind, who like JC bring warmth, joy, and energy to every set that they're a part of, regardless of what role they are playing in the production. Beginning in August of 2021, we'll be accepting nominations for the recipients of this inaugural $500 award to be publicly announced at the 2021 New Orleans Film Festival's Filmmaker Awards Ceremony. We ask that you, our treasured New Orleans film community, join us in honoring John Carlo by submitting nominations for crew members who carry on his spirit of excitement, generosity, joy, and adventure whether to honor and validate them for their oftentimes underseen and valuable contributions or to give them the boost to take the next step in their careers and pursue projects of their own. We hope this award will support those people without whom this filmmaking community would not be able to continue to flourish. Anytime I knew I was gonna be on a shoot with Giancarlo, I knew it was gonna be a great shoot. I saw a lot of myself in him. You know, every time he was on set, we worked together, his enthusiasm, his want to, to make films, to be a writer, director, um, it was really inspiring. And to have somebody who didn't ever seem like he was in a bad mood on set, which is very easy to do. And especially given all the hats that he wore when he worked with me and I worked with him, uh, was really, was great to see and his energy was it went throughout the whole set it was always a joy to be around john carlo monti you know from the moment i met him he uh he wasn't afraid to, to kind of call call out the bullshit and just uh he would just always be cracking jokes you know he he was the kind of person that you were so lucky to have on set and you'd always be you know, blessed if, if he could be on your set to, to carry, carry your, your filmmaking needs. It'd be awesome to have this award, you know, inspire others to not take it too seriously, you know, um, and, you know, inspire them to continue to create and bring more beautiful films to the New Orleans um, Film Festival each year. He was pretty much a part of like every single film the year he passed. There's this one story of a shoot I was on with JC that really like sums up this like sense of fun and adventure and like the combination of not taking it too seriously, but also like working extremely hard at the same time. Um, so we were on the shoot together at the World War II Museum here in New Orleans. And I was wanting to get a shot of the planes that are suspended from the ceiling in the big building. And I was like, man, we just don't have the equipment for that. We would need a dolly, it would be crazy. And JC said, well, we have this stabilizer and this floor is really smooth. We could just drag something across this floor. And I was like, what, like what? What do you mean we could drag something? He's like, well, you could lay down on the floor with the stabilizer and I could just drag you across the floor. And I, I was like, that's pretty crazy. They're open for business right now. <laughs> There's people here. And he's like, no, come on, let's try it. And so we tried it, but you know, I'm twice the size of JC. So it didn't quite work. And so then he was like, well, let me do it. You just drag me instead. And so he laid down on the floor holding the stabilizer up above his head. And 
I ran backwards, dragging him, you know, all the way across the floor. And, you know, he did, he wasn't like, oh, that's too much. Or like, like that was really cra crazy. He was like, oh man, that was awesome. That shot was awesome. That was fun. Let's do another take. And, you know, it's that kind of moment that's inspiring. Like when you're on a shoot and it's a long day and you're with somebody who's able to find the fun and everything and find a way to like work as a team on stuff. It's just really inspiring. And it's the kind of thing that's really hard to replace. Um, and, and you, you know, it's valuable when you're experiencing it in real time, but like, especially now after his passing, looking back, you realize just how rare that is. Thank you to the New Orleans Film Society for bringing this together. And, um, Thank you to everyone in the film community who supported this effort. And if you want more information about this award and keep, to keep an eye out for the further information as the year goes along, go to neworleansfilmsociety.org. And thank you.